Why am I doing myself? Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Why? Maybe my over-anticipation for how terrible this is going to be will accentuate things. So we're back here with some more Let's Play Platinum. In the last part, we defeated one of the Frontier Brains, Dahlia, of the Battle Arcade. And in this part, you're going to catch some legendary Pokemon that I was going to do. And not looking forward to this, but... Oh, God, I hate my life so much. So these legendary Pokemon can be found in an Earth City. Well, not really in an Earth City, but you'll see. That's where we're headed to now. So, let's head over to another city. And... Take your time, Tropius. Take your time. And remember that house that I'd said a while back that had no one in it and I thought that was weird? Well, if you go in there now... Hey, it's Perthrasis Oak. Dude, you're... You shouldn't you be in Kanto? You, okay, whatever. Uh, it's good to see you. How's your Pokedex coming along? Catching any kind of Pokemon is not an easy feat. I'll grant you that. Well, there's 493 in this game, so yeah. I'm sure you can accomplish it. I'm not going to try, so. Ah, yes. An acquaintance from Kanto has sent me something quite interesting. I think you'll make a better use of it as you could. This was an upgrade. Again, you, I think you've already have, could have obtained this in Platinum, but not in Diamond and Pearl. Evolves Porygon to Porygon 2, but again, I'm pretty sure this is like our second upgrade. I understand that Pokemon evolves in trade, though, so I'm holding the upgrade. Incidentally, this entire different topic, I heard that there have been sightings of very rare Pokemon. Legendary bird Pokemon, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Even though I read that in different order, because I'm a... Because I'm, I'm not a part of the system. They have spied in various locations around Sinnoh, nonetheless. Why don't you be lucky enough to see them yourself and go on your journeys? And, as you can assume, by around Sinnoh, he means that they're runners. <laughs> Why? Where's the marking map on this thing? Let's see, is that it? Is that it? Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Why? Why have they done this? There are three legend. Oops, I didn't mean to go in there. There are three runners in this game. That is just craziness. Uh, uh, so yes, three legendary bird Pokemon we'll be capturing in this part. I'm going to grab some quick balls, I'm not going to bother cutting, because why not? I think I think my biggest weakness about the crest one is that I think I talked too much. It's like, I talked way too much, and I think it made the thing just a little more unnecessarily long than it was. But at the same time, again, I kind of need to talk, or it would just feel like longer than it actually was. I will be doing a timer to see how long this, it's going to take me to catch all three of them, but... My, my, I ho hope to get done under an hour, but we'll see, because... I don't have hopes I can get done in under an hour, but since it took me like, what, 40 minutes to catch Cress? So, we'll see. So, yeah, just down to the same strategies before. It's really annoying for me, because doing live battles is annoying enough, but not because there's no there's no difference in the marking map. They all have the same symbol, so there's no way to tell which one you're going to run into, and I don't remember if they have their own music. I think they may, but I really don't remember since the last time I caught these guys was... Quite a, they're they're all around here. That's actually kind of cool. Let's see if I can just run into one. Let's see. Nope. Chuck Testa. Yeah, there we go. Someone's in this area. Okay, what's really nice about um these Pokemon though is that we'll, they will be at level 60, so I am prime for using that same super rep, super repel strategy. So that's a thing. Um, I may be a little bit stupid for doing this, but I'm gonna leave it Magnezone. Just kind of feel like it. They do have cool, good. They do have the standard legendary music. So first up, we have Articuno. I was hoping I'll get to run into Articuno first. So Articuno, because it's one Uno, do it is the, as an ice flying type Pokemon. Articuno is probably the worst of the three, to be honest. That is the one thing I was really worried about. I can't heat wave these things because they're probably all going to be faster than Zone. So I just kind of wanted to give that a shot. Um, back to the bio, Articuno is probably the worst of the three because the stats are very defensive, as you can see, and generally, like I said before with Glaceon, defensive ice type isn't a good thing. It's a very bad thing and should never really exist in the world. So for that reason, Articuno is probably not only the worst of the, of the legendary birds, but probably the worst of all time. Zapdos is probably is an electric flying type. Really unique typing because it does get rid of that one electric weakness of ground. It still has a few weaknesses of its own, but it does have 
Great natural bulk, coupled with de great speed and great special attack. This Pokemon is an amazing Pokemon. Zapdos is probably the best of the three, definitely. So Zapdos is highly recommended if you're looking for an electric type. If you still want one, it's a great Pokemon. So Zapdos is amazing. I learned some pretty good moves. The only thing weird about Zapdos is it doesn't learn Thunderbolt by level up. So if you haven't, if you have, if you've used your Thunderbolt TM, you won't be able to get. Like it doesn't learn it by level up. He's kind of weird. Um, Articuno does learn Ice Beam, and I believe Moltres also learns Flamethrower. Spoilers, I spoiled the last one, whatever. I'm not even sure if this is going to be Moltres. It'd be awesome if it was, but there's no really efficient way of keeping track of all three of them. And two of them are... Oh, well, that one's way over there in friggin' fast. If this one's Moltres, that'll be amazing, but... Keep not gonna get my hopes too high, so... Uh, let's just find it. Come on, find. What the heck? Did I... Did the repel her off? Huh, I didn't even notice. Odd. Oh, well. So I have food here, because I'm expecting this to take a long time, and I haven't eaten since the morning, so... Ugh. Food. Uh, they're still around here, so... Let me just put on a repel, then. Let's get some more repels. I, I, these 20 repels, I want to see if I can get these to last until the end of the game, which I think I should be able to do, so... That will be awesome! Please be Moltres, that would be awesome! Okay, it's started Kuno again. Okay, even though it's defensive, I'm pretty sure Fire Blast would still win it KO, so I'm just gonna go for the Thunder Fang, because I know that won't kill, so... That's gonna be my strategy. I really wish I'd be... I, I, maybe I'll, I, I should go back into Gyarados and try to freeze these things with Ice Fang, but that's just not reliable at all. That was a crit, that's kind of scary. I was wondering why I kept going down, because th this thing is pretty defensive, so... Um... Yeah, just moving around here. Being very patient. Uh... I think they're two in one spot here, which is kind of cool, so... Let's find! Find with the cool music! Come on, let's go! Show up, there we go. Um... Zapdos again, cool. Gyarados can pretty much kill with anything, so... I just kind of have to start throwing balls from here. This is going to be a complete disaster, and just... Thinking about this battle for the longest time is why I'm not, I wasn't really looking forward to it, because I know this is not going to be easy at all. Mmm, man. Come on, just catch, please. Please be a wimp. Be a wimp. <laughs> um, kind of expected that. I, I wasn't, I my high hopes up. My high hopes up. Can I still, oh, no, never mind. They're both gone if there were two there, so. 18 left. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Considering what's left in the game, there's still a little bit that we'll need to repels for. So that is an event of substance occurrences in Zapdos once more. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can, I can maybe... I'm trying to... I don't think I have anything more that can whittle it that also outspeeds it. Togekiss's Air Slash, maybe? I have Aura Sphere, but I'm really worried that could still kill. So, just gonna throw quick balls from here. It's a little bit not... Prime, but there's not really much I can do anymore. It's kind of irritating. I hate it. Oh man, this is not. This is going to be a complete disaster. We look if I get this in two hours. Here's, here's another one again, so that's cool. Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see, what we got Zapdos again. Wow. Like, can I just catch you now? Since I'm, since you're showing up so much, it'd be really awesome if I could just catch one of you this fast, and that would be amazing. So. Just catch. Go. Pokeball. Let's do this. Come on. Please. Yeah, I didn't think so. You can die. Screw you, Zapdos. Zapdos. Here it is again. I wasn't eating. You're crazy. You're nuts. Moltres! The final of the birds. Number three. Um, Moltres is probably... Second best. Sorry. As you can tell, it's a fire flying type, which is pretty cool because once again, it gets that uh, would be weakness to ground alleviated. It does have a lot more weaknesses though, most notably its X4 weakness to rock. So it has to worry about that. It has a great move pool. It's a lot more offensive. It's it's a lot more offensive in terms of its good and physical and special attack, but still mainly special attack. It isn't as fast as Zapdos, but it's still a great Pokemon. So Moltres is still an awesome Pokemon in general. All of them do have the standard legendary catch rate of three. Which I didn't neglect to mention, so that's kind of whatever. I think they all have roost at this point, too, so... That's a thing. Oh, look, another crate. 
But no, but no, but no, freeze game, please. I love you. I'm gonna start leading with Togekiss just because it has a move to not very effective the mall, and if there's anything that can whittle it, Togekiss will be the man to do the job. So, that's a strategy. Um, Articuno I'm scared to death of killing, despite its decent bulk. So, I'm just gonna play it safe and throw a ball at this range, so... Doing that... Go quick ball! Quick ball! Come on, just catch! If, 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 couldn't you make this an easy time? Just, 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 just make this an easy experience for once, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos? Please. I don't know why I always say Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. But I, don't, I never say the numerical order. I always say Moltres and then Zapdos. I don't know why. Because I'm listing them from best to worst. I mean, worst to best, I guess. I don't know. So, I don't know. That's just a habit that I have. I always say them Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Disturb not the harmonies of fire, ice, and lightning. Pokemon Movie 2 is by far the best movie, and I will fight anyone to the death to disagree. Pokemon Movie 1 was pretty cool when Ash died, but then he came back to life, and then I was, like, sad, so... that I was like, oh, I should have stayed dead. That would have been awesome. But unfortunately, that never occurred. Ash doesn't ever die, unfortunately. Or age, apparently, so... Alright, come on. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello, Trace. I'm the only one that's not completely whittled down. The frailest of them all. Confident Orsper won't kill him. I should be faster. I don't think Tokus is that much faster than Gyarados, so... I am awesome. And Orsphere fires. Go. Weaken. Perfect, I can use another one. I'll be at red health from there, so at least Moltres will be a decent amount of health for whittling purpose. Ah, come on! I tell you, nothing's more annoying than not, not knowing exactly which one you're about to fight. It's just so irritating. I don't know why Generation 4 was so infatuated with running Pokemon, and I'm really happy they toned it down for Generation 5, and hopefully they'll do it for subsequent games, because this many runners is just over the top and not fun at all. It's just, it's really tedious to catch these things. <laughs> People are like, use Master Balls on runners. Well, you can't use your Master Ball on runners when there's five in one game. It's... no. You don't really have a plan now, do you? It's just crazy. The dependence on runners is just... ridiculous. I... It's just... Uh, it, it, it was a neat concept in Generation 2, don't get me wrong, but... Come on. Is this really the... Most fun way to catch a legendary. It's an interesting, cool, unique, neat way, but at the same time, the concept of this thing just running every single time you find it is just annoying as hell. And uh, it doesn't really make for truly enjoyable gameplay, which is my main gripe with runners. It's not. It's, it's kind of better in black and white since they don't really skip as much. You pretty much just know where they are, then you go there, and they'll still be there, kind of like they were in the original Gen 2 games. Or they'd only jump if you flew, if you just biked to the place where they were, they'd be there. And I forgot to put a rappel on. Um, but yeah, this one just constantly moving back and forth between places, waiting for it to be in your area. Going to it, either weakening or throwing in a ball, and repeating the same process over and over and over again until you catch the Pokemon is not fun at all. Just, it just isn't fun. It's crazy. What am I doing? Rappel, though. Um, yeah. 16 left, man. I don't think I'll be able to... Have, I don't think I have enough super repels to... Ah, oh, come on, it ran away. Oh, look, it's back. That's awesome. And I'm probably still gonna cut, cut that away, because I'm trying to keep this part as short as possible. <gasps> you can tell from the times I cut. Okay. Now, it would really suck here if I got a crit. That that would really anger me, so... I have to restart the entire part, which wouldn't be fun at all. But, you know, I'm just gonna assume it out. These are also... All these three else. I don't know why I'm, like, talking about this Pokemon and bursts, but they all have the ability pressure, so PP usage is doubled. Lots, mo most po legendary Pokemon have this ability, because they couldn't think of decent abilities for Pokemon for some reason. They're just like, oh, whatever, give it pressure. You will be mine. Soon, I shall have you all. Trace Molt, you shall be captured into my balls of steel. Tokus can learn Thunder Wave, can it not? I, have, I may have a plan here. I could just hurt scale back anything I teach it. I have a plan. I have I do I have the TM Thunder Wave? Hmm. That is a plan. I went to college. Let's see if I have the TM Thunder Wave. I'm using tactics. Much, much tactics. 
I hope because actually can learn fire moves, which is pretty cool. But I don't really see any use for it on this set that I have, since I already have a fighting move to deal with steals. I do not have T-Wave, that makes me really sad. I thought I did, would have T-Wave, I don't know where you get T-Wave in this game. I think actually you buy it from the Battle Frontier, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Which is kind of funny, so, damn it. There goes that plan. Now, who are you? You are Zapdos again, cool. Every fiber of my being wants to try to Aura Sphere you, but, ah, uh, I can't take the risk, so. Also, a fun, um, fun little thing that you can't do is that you, ca you can't save while you're in the same area as a Pokemon and hope you can just restart the game and find it again. Because the Pokemon are re-randomized every time you start the game again, so. That was something I thought I'd, tr I thought I'd try back in the day and it never worked, and I was really angry about that, so. There's that little flaw. Here we go! Again! Um. Monkeys. I want to try to air slash this thing so badly, but it's going to be so close, and air slash is stabbed, and it's just... I will not give up. According to the hard drive estimation space, I can record for another six hours and a half. So, I can be here for a long time. Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, whatever. So, you, you, you think I'm going down, man. I picked it this specifically because I knew I'd have a lot of time to record. So... This that's a thing. Okay, I'm pretty convinced right now that I'm probably going to need to buy some repels again, which makes me really sad. I don't need any money for anything at this point in the game. All the extra money is supposed to be spent on that resort place at this point anyway, so it's kind of just like whatever. And oh god, this thing shows up again. It just makes me want to air. I want to air slash this thing so bad. It's crazy. Soon I won't be able to resist resist, resist the temptation. You watch, God. Come on, let's go. Let's catch one. Ah. Oh, hi there, Voltres. You are a flaming bird. And I will capture you with my Pokeball powers someday. Come on, Voltres, you're the lowest one. And, you know, if you catch, maybe the others will follow in your suit. Follow, it, it, it's all, it's all, do you want to be a follower or do you want to be a leader? Do you want to take the plunge and be the first one of these three to be captured? And then you'll realize that you're happy. You can tell your brother that it's good to be captured by me. It's an honor. A downright honor. Ugh. Whatever. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up. I am- I will per- wow. Runs out just before I'm about to go inside. That's annoying. I will persevere. I've said this many times before, but I'm not giving up. Mm. I am not using a master ball to, to, to disgrace my skill at this game with a master ball. Ugh. You guys are getting in these quick balls. I don't care. I'm gonna hold down and B. Let's see. The magic of down and B activates. Wow, it actually made things worse. That's hilarious. Moltres. Togekiss. Pressure. Bag. Quick ball. Use. Ball. In ball. Shake. Break out. You know what? I'm, the, I'm air slashing it. Because I'm a crazy fool. I, I just can't resist anymore. It's not gonna kill. Right? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about now. That is skill. And that makes myself a little bit more excited about capturing these Pokemon pending. That could have easily have killed it, but it didn't. And I am just happy about that. Well, I really wish you can stack Repel. So if you still had a Repel on, you could just use another Repel. And then it would just make their last, the, 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 the length of the Repel just increase by that number. Or just go back to the default number. Whatever. Um, you are really low Moltres. So your capture is imminent. Give up. You're, you're the first one. I should catch you in order of number two. Just like I found you in the order of the numbers. Come on. I guess you don't want to be a leader. Fine. Uh, Zapdos. Now I kind of... just I, I, I got, I, I'm going to take a small risk in Air Slash this too. Just because it resists it. And I'm pretty sure it won't kill. I'm... I can Aura Sphere for safety, but... I can Aura Sphere... I'm, should I Aura Sphere for safety? Aura Sphere is a little bit more safe, so I'm going to go for that. Again... Zapdos is a little less bulky, but I'm pretty confident it can live in Orosphere. Yeah, perfect. Now all the guys are at reasonably catchable helds now. They still have, can't be status, because nothing fast enough can status things, so... Ah. Whatever, you know. Because they make the game just so easy. I mean, they didn't make the game easy. They're legendaries. They're just not as fun to capture. But as my super repel numbers dwindle, we shall continue this effort to capture these birds of death, doom, and destruction. 
Here's Takuno. It's a new Pokemon here. Uh, I've been with my thing a lot just because of my anxiety generally. Maybe, maybe I, should, I should put my bowl to the right of me. I think it'll be easier for me to eat. Why am I talking about this in the commentary? I don't know, but let's just throw the ball already while I move my bowl to the other side, which you could probably hear. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away now. I'll be commentating. But I'm too busy eating. So, um, yeah. Okay, whatever. All the time in the world. Not really, but still. Hey, well, I was uploading a new episode of Snake, the first episode of Snake Wood. That's pretty cool. I love the Wild Chase Let's Plays with their laziness. And their whatever. And their cetera, 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 cetera. Once again, we shall enter the fray of the battle. I actually decided to put the ball on my lap instead. I feel like this is probably the best way for me to eat. With all the stuff on my desk right now, and I think this would be the most efficient way. Mm. I don't know. I'm nothing to really talk about. So I kind of less still going on. Still tons of mistakes that are hilarious and fail. I made a mistake the other day. I don't remember what it was, but I just remember it was like really, really bad. And I was like, wow, that's terrible. <laughs> God, what was that mistake? Now, actually, now, now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drive my, I'm gonna drive myself crazy trying to think of what that mistake was. Something to do with Vigoroth, I want to say. You know, he constantly calls his, his female Vigoroth a guy, but that's not really a big mistake that really matters. Crap, what was it? Oh, it was like a really gaping, terrible mistake, and I was like, uh, I was looking through the comments see if anyone commented about it, and no one did, and I was like, eh, 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 eh. What was it? I can't think of it. It's crazy. Uh, so annoying. I know as soon as I stop thinking about it, it's going to come to my mind. That's the most annoying thing. Now I remember. See, I told you as soon as I stopped, I stopped thinking about it, I'd remember it. He thought that moves like Aerial Ace can hit you during semi invulnerable turns of fly, which is completely incorrect. Like, he was battling with Nona, and he thought that Aerial Ace would hit him while he was in fly, which is just wrong. It the only move that ever did that was Swift, and that was only in Generation 1 where it could hit things during Dig and Fly. But since ever since Generation 2, they just made it so perfect moves of perfect accuracy still can't hit you when you're in your ceremony going board turns of Bounce, Dig, and Fly, and whatnot. I thought that was a really terrible mistake he made, which is really funny that he made such a stupid mistake. I can't believe he's gone on for that long not knowing that perfect accuracy moves don't hit things in their semi invulnerable turns, only moves like Thunder will hit things in Fly, and whatnot. I don't know why. I don't know why they took it out though. I really feel like they just should, just should make those perfect accurate moves hit things that are in their semi-vulnerable. Why did I use a repel there? I don't even need it yet. Oh god, what an idiot. Whatever. Now I do. So it kind of works out. But I really think they just should make moves like Aura Sphere and Shockwave and all those all those other guys hit during things. It's not like it makes that big of a difference competitively. I mean, but and I should just just be a thing that should be brought back. I don't even know why they took it out in the first place. I feel like having a way to hit fly and dig and stuff is important. Even though I do have Earthquake and Thunder and other moves to hit stuff, but... I don't know, just cool that have that security of this move will never miss no matter what your opponent does, unless they protect or detect. This is the tech that's technically avoiding the move, shouldn't it hit during that too? Since they showed in the anime and it like just looks, they just dodge it instead of just not being a barrier like protect is, which is kind of weird since there's the dodge command in the anime, so I don't know what the point of detect is. But whatever, it's just this magical thing that makes you avoid the hit no matter what, I guess. Detect is cool. Too bad it has less PP, because then everybody used the tech instead of protect. The only reason they use the tech over protect is Yan Mega, because I'm um, in prison, which is pretty common in VG series. That's like literally the only reason anyone would ever need to use the tech. Otherwise, use protect, fellas, because more PP. Even though, really, you're not going to be needing to protect like 16 times in a battle, but it's just because, so that's a thing. Well, I haven't been talking too much to make this video so long, so... Here's Articuno again. I should have mentioned that even though Articuno is like my least favorite, I also gotta say that Articuno is probably my favorite design-wise, so... I don't know, it's a weird thing. I used Articuno, I believe, in my blue playthrough, my second blue playthrough, so... I, I was trying to compliment you, Articuno, so you'd stay in the ball, but I guess it didn't work, but... Yeah. I used Articuno, it's pretty cool. I don't think without it, I could probably could have never caught Mewtwo since I, since thanks to Ice Beam, I was able to freeze the thing, and that was like a huge help. So that's good in the hood. So and just buy some more 
max repel, super repel, since I do need some now, so that's annoying. I don't need that much more, but really, I'm lazy, and I don't really need money for anything. Like I've said many times before. Ugh. Uh. So, I think we're just gonna end things off here. So, next time on Pokemon Platinum, we will hopefully catch these legendary birds and hopefully continue on with this very, very painful capturing of legendary Pokemon. So, I will see you guys then.